In beetle uprising, you're likely to spend a good amount of time breeding beetles. Depending on your playstyle, you might want to breed for stats, for attack abilities, aesthetics, or for an ideal mix of everything. To breed two beetles, we're going to open the beetle breeding panel, where we can select which beetles we want to breed. But as we're starting out with only two in our nest, the choice is made for us. We're going to breed Komagup and Pakugis. In this tutorial, we'll concentrate on breeding to enhance our beetle stats. There are seven beetle stats, strength, quickness, regeneration, health, perception, ferocity, and armor. By holding down the control key, we can see which parts of our beetle's DNA correspond to these stats. Now, before we go any further, we're going to need a quick lesson on genetics. In Beetle Uprising, each beetle's genetic makeup is split over 14 pairs of chromosomes. Four of these account for our seven stats. Let's look at the first chromosome pair for Comagup. This pair of chromosomes determines Comagup's strength and quickness. The left chromosome has 20 genes from one parent, and the right 20 genes from the other. Each inherited gene can have several different forms, which are called alleles. This is like the human gene for blood type having type A, type B, or type O. Our beetle stat genes come in six possible allele flavors, shown by these bars. The fuller the bar is, the higher the stat contribution. As we have two alleles coding for each beetle stat property, we need to know how each pair is treated. Often in nature, one of these alleles is said to be dominant over the other. In this case, only the dominant allele is expressed. In humans, alleles for blood type A and type B are both dominant to blood type O. And so if you have A and O alleles, your blood type will be A. And if you have B and O alleles, your blood type will be B. In a similar way, beetle alleles for aesthetics can be dominant or recessive, and so in breeding beetles of different colours and shapes, you may start to notice dominant and recessive interactions, often seeing a trait disappear in one generation, but then reappearing further down the line. Our stat alleles here are a bit different though. They are both considered together when forming beetle stats. In nature, this could be akin to having co-dominant alleles, in humans, blood type A and B are co-dominant, so if you have one allele of each, your blood type will be AB. What this means in the game is that we simply add up both alleles to give this pair's contribution to its stat, and in this case, that's strength. Usually, the best allele for a gene will exist in more than one beetle in your nest, but when the best allele is only present in a single beetle, it gets a blue star. Be careful not to lose a beetle with a unique allele. You can't breed an allele into your population if no one has it. The small blue interval bars show the best allele present in your collection, regardless of uniqueness. Here, they're quite tightly packed, as we only have two beetles. When you have lots of beetles, they might start to look more like this. That is, unless you have excellent breeding strategies. Now. If we add up all of the little blobs in our strength alleles, we count 34, but our beetle strength is actually 35. This is because some genes can have secondary effects on other stats. This is similar to a phenomenon called epistasis in nature, where the expression of one gene may inhibit the expression of another. These side effects are depicted in this table in the manual. The extra strength point has been caused by a combination of size, armor, regeneration, and quickness genes. For the most part, the epistatic effects only have a small impact on our stats, so we can concentrate mainly on the alleles directly responsible, unless we want to get supremely technical with our breeding. Okay, so now we know what our beetles are made of, what's going to happen when we breed them? Each parent is going to supply 14 chromosomes each to form 14 pairs for their offspring. The 14 chromosomes to be inherited from each parent are decided by meiosis. In this step, each pair of chromosomes comes together in a random orientation. We can picture this here as some of the chromosomes deciding to randomly flip over. To complicate things further, in nature, sections of the chromosomes are sometimes able to cross over during this process. For our beetles, crossovers can occur randomly. Once the chromosome mix-up is done, we zip down the middle and separate out all the DNA needed for a gamete cell. 
just like a sperm or an egg. We're not really sure which though, as our beetles are unsexed. Meiosis occurs for Pacugis too, and then the resulting gametes are combined to produce an offspring. By hitting the breed button, the whole process is repeated nine times, giving us a choice of nine possible offspring. Now when we hold down control, we can see everyone's genes, as well as which children have inherited those unique blue star alleles. If this all seems a bit much, you can always just pick the stats you like, or even which beetle looks the most handsome. I'm going to choose this one, because I like its shiny red carapace. Welcome to the nest, Kamapo. Long may you breed. <laughs>